Okay, so we are now on to video three. I am on, I have like nine minutes left here. I kind of wanted to give a little bit of an update um, on this. So I had to start with my roots, and let me just tell you, I've never um, done just my roots only, but I did that, and I let it sit for 20 minutes, and I used the brush so that I could make sure that I only just did the roots. Um, and I'll be honest, that was a real big pain in the ass. So it was pretty time consuming. I hope that I did an okay job. I um, guess we'll find out when I get my hair all rinsed off. So that was good. The bad thing is, is I probably still have three-fourths of the bottle. And I'm somebody who doesn't like to waste things. I know we can't save this and that's, you know, I get it. But when they know that people are going to do, do their roots, maybe they probably shouldn't do like a whole bottle. Maybe that needs to be a little bit smaller of a bottle. Um, so now I'm sitting with the ends stuff on and I did obviously use a little bit more of that. Um, like I said, I think it's great that they gave us both of these, um, and that they're both formulated different and, and that's, you know, if you're somebody who lets your hair grow out for quite a while before you color it again, that might be something that you need. Um, but I, like I said, I've never had an issue with just having to color my roots because when I color it, you know, I don't tend to always do my ends anyway just because I know I use the same color over and over and over again so um, there's my mess <laughs> there's the gloves that I used um, the little stain wipe obviously you can see I had some on my forehead it was kind of a mess but the brush I've, I've already washed um, the stain remover see um, the, the other thing I wanted to point out was that you get this whole packet of stain guard and I barely even used it just to put it on my forehead, the back of my neck, and all on my ears. Uh, what I wanted to point out though was that this is made out of coconut oil, castor seed oil, sunflower seed oil, and um, some other stuff. And I know that a lot of people, you know, they're like, I don't know why you would pay extra for that kind of stuff because, you know, you go to the beauty salon, a lot of times they just use Vaseline. I mean, I've, I've witnessed it. So. Um, my problem is I don't ever think about using Vaseline. So I'm going to give you a quick peek. <laughs> don't laugh at my shirt. Um, I have a shirt oh, specifically for hair color. <laughs> um, but I have it on my head. I have a few minutes left and it's, the hair color is weird y'all. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. It has um, a slight chemical spell, smell. It's not as strong as a drugstore brand, um, but it is. It is there. You can you can smell it. Um, I feel like the hair color stuff itself. Um, there, this was not cream based. The coloring itself, neither one of them were cream based. Um, and sometimes I know like the drugstore brands, some of them are a little, they have a little cream to them. It's, it, um, some of them, not all of them. But I feel like right now it's a little dry. Um, it doesn't, like I'm used to there being actual color coated on my hair. And I know it's a little hard to see, but it um, it really just looks like my hair is wet. Like it doesn't really seem like there's any color on there at all. It's a little, a little hard to explain, but it's a little different than what I'm used to. Um, and it feels really dry on my hair. Uh, it's, I don't know. It's really weird. Um, so I don't know really how to explain it. But um, this goes for about seven more minutes, and then. I will move on to the next step, which is kind of interesting. They want you to add some water to the end of the, to this developer bottle. And you're gonna shake it up, and you're going to use that basically as some shampoo when you get in the shower to loosen up the hair color and the hair on your head, which is interesting because I've never done that before. Kinda don't want to because I feel like it's gonna make a giant mess in my bathroom. Um, so I may not do that. I may just go ahead and put the gloves on and get in the shower and just put a little water on my hair, kind of what I am used to doing. Um, I don't really see that, that the difference is going to make all that difference. So, um, rinse, I'm going to rinse it and then I get to use 
these cute little packages of shampoo and conditioner. So um, this is another one where you actually get to use shampoo and conditioner as opposed to just rinsing your hair and kind of going with the first day's hair color on there. So that's that. See, my name is on there too. Mm -hmm. Um, That's, I thought there was something else. I can't remember what else I was going to discuss, but um, I feel like I've wasted a lot here because everything is like half full. So that's that. We'll come back after it's been showered and and maybe dried a little bit and we can talk about things from there.